What's that? Ooh. Oh, oh, the belly rub. Got the belly rub. Oh. Coyotes out here howling away. Don't seem like they're too far away. Maybe half a mile. Pretty cool. Puppies are a little scared though. You guys afraid of the coyotes? Yeah. To the attack room and I got the top bunk and um, this is it right here it's pretty tight but we make do Kelly's got the bottom bunk and we have the generator on and it is uh, charging all of our devices right now and running a heater because it's starting to get cold out so um, Kelly, what time we gotta be up tomorrow? Six. I'll be up at six tomorrow. I'll see you then. What's up, guys? It's 6 a.m. It's raining outside, and it's a little cold. Uh, hopefully, this rain lets up pretty soon. It's gonna be muddy. The conditions are gonna be a little bit rougher. But I did not get much sleep last night. I'm gonna roll some footage right now of uh, what was going on. So yeah, that was pretty crazy being inside this trailer it's super loud um, because we have a fiberglass roof and uh, part of it's also aluminum so everything's pretty amplified in here that's the only downside of sleeping in this trailer breakaways at 8 a.m. I'm gonna go uh, find a sink in the clubhouse and try to clean up a little bit and um, get some breakfast Hope you guys have enjoyed everything so far. Now that we're on to the bird work, I'm going to be doing some commentary for the beginners and kind of give you guys a better understanding how uh, field trials work. Also, all my videos done on horseback, so I tried to uh, clean it up the best that I could. So bear with me a little bit on that and stick around. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is spice on point right here. Kelly, the handler, is going in to try to flush birds because spice has picked up their scent. The judge is walking around uh, trying to keep an eye on any kind of bird work. Unfortunately, there's a bird feeder in that barrel behind the dog right there. And there was probably birds there, but um, pretty much spice is pointing old scent and we have a non-productive right here. Right here, the bracemate handler loses a visual on his dog and needs a scout to go locate him. And so I volunteered and ran, rode over and found his dog on point up ahead in the trees up there. The 
dog is currently on point on a bird. Very thick brush right here. The handler's going in and attempting to flush the bird. He's unable to flush the bird because it's so thick. So right here he decides to relocate his dog, which is a very risky move. Dog bumps the bird right there. The handler decides to shoot his gun. But at this point, the judge orders the handler to pick up his dog. Your dog is not allowed to bump a bird like that. The rancher at the pickup truck up ahead is getting ready to feed a bunch of cattle to the right side of the screen. And the dude on his brown horse right here, his horse is spooked and doesn't like the cattle coming in and this next part was too good not to share. His foot stuck in the stirrup. Luckily he did not get hurt at all and the horse didn't take off, so thought I had to put this in the video. At this point, Spice isn't doing a very good job and we didn't want to waste any more time, so Kelly decides to pick up her dog right here. For some reason right here the field marshal in the orange coat wouldn't let us ride up to see these dogs on point. The Irish setter's on point at the old bird feeder where there's old scent. And the English setter's also further ahead on point on actual birds and gets a productive bird find right here. The English setter handler breaks away from the group right here to go find his dog on point and has a productive bird find. The Irish setter continues forward on the course. That's the end of this race. The Irish Setter ended up having one non-productive and continues on with no other bird finds. The English Setter has two productive bird finds. Cola's on point right now on the right side of the screen and Reason is backing on the left side of the screen. Backing means that Reason is honoring Cola's point. I was scouting right here and found Reason on point up ahead. Kelly goes into the thicket in an attempt to flush any birds that might be in there. Unfortunately, it's old scent, and there's no birds right here. She relocates Reason to give it one last look. Doesn't find any birds right here, and then she decides to move on. I lost my sound right here, but pretty much what I was saying was after Reason had that non-productive, uh, we ended up picking her up. She had some torn pads on her feet and we didn't want to hurt those any more than we should have. So picked her up and Cola went on and had a very productive few bird finds and ended up winning this stake for a three point major and ended up finishing her field championship.
Shandy was braced by herself in this brace and didn't have any other dog to compete against. At the beginning she ran really big, but after a while she decided she didn't like this wind anymore and wasn't doing a very good job and we had to pick her up. Here's the end results of the open walking gun dog. In third place was a dog named Kipper. He was a German short haired pointer. Did not get to see him race. And in second place is Cinna, an English setter. And in first place was Cola, the German short haired pointer. The Open Walking Derby is for dogs under two years old, and so they're not as mature and quite know what to do as the older dogs. So what Kane does right here is he finds a bird and points him, but then he ends up running into it and making him fly, which is okay in this stake. Uh, time just ran out right here, and he found a bird like 20 seconds right after the timer went off. and. Mark goes ahead and works him, and, but it doesn't count. He ends up placing third in this event, so it's a pretty good job for a young dog. Third place, Kate! Woo! I'm going to end the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed the commentary. I will not be doing that on the next video, I just wanted to do it on this one to give the beginners and newbies a feel for what field traveling was all about kind of help explain the rules and get a feel for how everything works so hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you did make sure you hit the subscribe button down below hit the like share the video and i'll see you on the next one coming out here very shortly so stick around for the last day and you can see how reason did so anyways Catch you on the next one.